Limb loss is an extraordinary change that makes life very different, but it's a life that's still filled with exciting possibilities. As you adapt to what lies ahead, you'll meet people who stand ready to assist by sharing their experiences and knowledge, and you'll discover how to pursue your goals and dreams in a new way. Snell's practitioners are fully credentialed and licensed in their area of discipline by the State of Arkansas's Orthotis, Prosthetis, and Pedorthis Advisory Board. All of our facilities are accredited by the American Board of Certification. Developing a trusting, collaborative relationship with a prosthetist is essential to regaining your mobility and independence, and being able to enjoy those activities that are most important to you. Your consultation with the prosthetist will be a learning experience for both of you. The prosthetist will learn about your life as you share facts about your daily routine, your work, your family, and your favorite hobbies, sports, and leisure activities. In return, you'll learn what kinds of prosthetic options are available to you, how they work, the methods by which they are custom made specifically to fit you and serve your needs and desires and what goals they can ultimately prepare you to achieve as an educated prosthetic ambulator. An important part of this first step in your prosthetic care plan is preparing the limb for fitting. Following your amputation surgery, it is normal to experience swelling in the limb during the two to four week healing period, even after the staples and sutures have been removed. The prosthetist will place a compressive garment known as a shrinker on your limb. Its purpose is to reduce the swelling let your prosthetist know promptly if you experience any discomfort while wearing it. As time progresses, you may continue to see shrinking of the residual limb. This is normal. It must be addressed in order to maintain the intimate fit the prosthesis requires. You'll be taught to determine when it is appropriate to add or remove socks to maintain the proper fit. Casting the residual limb is the first step in making your prosthesis. A gel liner is donned. The liner can provide suspension as well as padding, so it may have a locking suspension pin that secures it to your limb. By forming a negative mold of plaster, the prosthetist creates a hollow shell whose interior precisely matches the three-dimensional shape of your limb in every detail. This is where the prosthetist's training and experience guide them in modifying the positive model slightly to increase or reduce pressure in certain areas. Snell Prosthetics and Orthotics also uses the AquaFit casting process using the Symphony system. If this option is appropriate for you, your residual limb will be hand cast in the standard manner by wrapping it with plaster strips. Your limb is then immersed in the Symphony hydraulic chamber as you shift your body weight onto a gel bladder suspended in water. The chamber can be custom pressurized for each patient using the Symphony VC app readings on a smart device. Readings are based on your weight, size of the residual limb, firmness of the connective tissue, and your activity level. The full contact and weight bearing that you will experience during the casting process also provide excellent proprioceptive feedback and allow you to give the practitioner valuable information concerning bony and sensitive parts of the limb before the socket is made. The positive model of your residual limb is used as the basis for the first test socket you'll try on for size. A shear of clear plastic is heated in our special oven and then vacuum formed around the positive model so that it tightly captures the shape of the model. During the fitting of the initial test socket, the prosthetist will determine how the residual limb fits within the socket and whether or not there are any points of pain or discomfort that need to be eliminated in the final socket. This negative copy of your residual limb should now be a close and comfortable fit for your limb to rest inside while it serves as the prototype socket for your prosthesis. This rough draft version of your plastic test socket is not intended to be a long-term device, but it allows the prosthetist to make a lot of changes in a short amount of time. Evolving, modifying, and perfecting this test socket is important to your success. You'll have an opportunity to provide feedback on how it feels, while the prosthetist will be able to check certain fitting criteria like rotation and pressure points. The prosthetist will check your initial alignment and confirm that you're comfortable in the standing position before adding steps. You may experience significant volume changes in your limb throughout the day as the result of medication, diet, and exercise. 
that ideal socket fit can be a balancing act. Having a well-fitting socket could require daily sock ply management. Your prosthetist will explain when and how many socks of varying thicknesses should be added to compensate for volume changes that make wearing your prosthesis uncomfortable. During the dynamic fitting of your prosthesis, the prosthetist will confirm that your entire prosthetic system, the socket and all the component parts beyond it, are appropriate, stable, and comfortable. Based on all you have discovered together to this point, a final socket will be fabricated using carbon fiber or other high-tech materials. This final definitive socket will be created and connected to the prosthetic components which have been chosen from an array of possibilities available from leading manufacturers and recommended by the prosthetist based on your daily routine, work, and leisure activities. Your definitive prosthesis is ready to be assembled and finalized. In this step, your prosthetist will focus on the alignment of your prosthesis, including the positioning of the socket relative to the other components of the limb. Other aspects and elements will also be checked and fine-tuned, as everything from balance to gait to overall comfort and proprioception are confirmed to be exactly what you'll want when you receive your definitive prosthesis. Your prosthetist will advise you in advance what you should bring with you to this dynamic fitting. At the appropriate time, you will receive your definitive prosthesis. Be sure to bring proper footwear with you to this final fitting and have either an adult family member or your caregiver accompany you. The prosthetist will review the features and operation of the complete prosthetic device, provide introductory gait or usage training, and explain how to determine if the socket needs adjustment. He or she will spend time ensuring that you are educated on the proper donning and doffing of the prosthesis and discuss the care and maintenance of the prosthesis and supplies, including the liner interfaces or prosthetic socks you may receive with your prosthesis. It is essential that you wash, clean, and dry the residual limb daily when bathing or taking a shower as part of your regular personal hygiene routine. The skin on the residual limb should be checked often for signs of irritation or redness. Redness over a large area that dissipates after removal of the prosthesis is usually normal. However, if there is localized redness caused by pressure, adjustments may need to be made to the prosthesis. It is the goal of almost every lower limb amputee to walk normally again. Continued assistance with gait training may be necessary to help you achieve this goal. The purpose of gait training is to establish the way you will walk for the rest of your life. The goal is to be able to walk with the least amount of deviation from normal. The prosthetist will refer you to your physician to recommend gait training. Because of the team approach Snell takes in regards to our patients, our prosthetists play a supporting role to therapists during your gait training and are always available for consultation. Such training should include energy conservation the ability to safely negotiate all environmental barriers, such as stairs, curbs, or ramps, and develop a stable gait pattern. Together, you and your prosthetist have made a large investment toward your future success as an active and independent person. Follow-up care and regular checkups for your prosthesis and for you should be part of a long-term plan designed to keep you walking smoothly and safely. New amputee patients require more follow-up care than experienced amputee patients. Due to changes in the initial volume of the residual limb, socket changes should be expected, and any irregularities or mechanical problems with your prosthesis should be identified and corrected. So we recommend the schedule of visits as shown during the first year after your limb loss. Our mission is to build a lifelong partnership with you, our patient, providing cutting-edge prosthetic care for the journey ahead.